I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you are new to Mahjong, there's a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist. Hong Kong Mahjong is the best place to start. It's very easy. You need four blocks and a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind, because there's four of every tile. There are a couple of exceptions to that four blocks and a pair rule. If you want to know more, watch the playlist in the video description below and also download this player reference which has all the scoring elements. In this game of solitaire, we are going to have a zero point minimum. So your hand can have zero value. That's called a chicken hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we're gonna look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. Whoever gets to a winning hand with any value will win the game, even if it's a chicken hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Two flowers. We have a number two and a number one. We have a fawn right now for this flower alone. All right, for this player, we have five dots, including a pair. We have four cracks, three bams, single honors. Here's a pair, potential chow, three in a sequence. Potential chow, three in a sequence. Isolated tiles, potential chow, one, two, three, four blocks. All we need in here is a pair for all chow. We'll see what happens. I think we should play all chow. All chow is one fawn. And we have our own flower, so that's another fawn. This would be a two fawn hand. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Player two is South. This is their seat, South. If we pung, we get a fawn for that because it's their seat. This is the wind of the round, east round. If we pair up and pung, we'll get score for that too. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. Here's a pung of dots. Here we have a potential chow. Isolated tiles. I think we should just play for seat wind. We'll just pung and chow. Since it's a zero point table, we don't have to have a minimum. We'll just go for the quickest win. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. For this player, we have six cracks, four bams, three dots, no honors. We have two pair. We have the potential chow, potential chow. These are isolated. There's a pair or potential chow. One, two, three, four blocks, pair. We'll just have to see what happens here. We might chart, go for a chicken hand on this one because we could pung, pung. Let's see if we do a chicken hand, pung here, isolated, chow, pung, chow, one, two, three, four. All we need is a pair in here and that would be a chicken hand because there would be no value. Anytime you mix pungs, 
and chows in different suits, zero points. All your number tiles will have no value. If they happen to get honors that are valued, like a West Wind Pung or a Dragon Pung, that would be a value. But when you mix chows and Pungs in different suits, all these number tiles will have no value. So this might be a chicken hand here. Chow, Pung, Chow, Pung, Pear. Let's see what happens. Maybe we could get them to all chow, but we might be able to do a chicken hand too. So let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. For North, we have four bams, three dots, three cracks, single honors. Here we have potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, one, two, three blocks. These are isolated, isolated singles. We might need to do a chicken hand here too, or see if we can make some chows. I think maybe focus on chows. So let's start by discarding here. We're thinking of all chow. So one, two, three, four blocks. All we need in here really is a pair. These are isolated. So since we have everything we need for our chows and all we need is a pair, it's gonna be easier to pair up a number tile than an honor. So let's discard the winds and dragons. We'll start by discarding north. That won't bring us any value anyway. So there's a north out. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Five crack. That could be a keeper. There's a chow. Chow, pung, potential pung. These are all isolated. These could bring value. Let's keep them for a little while and discard these. Let's discard one crack. We'll draw up here. Eight dot, ooh, there's a pair. Now we have one, two, three pair. Let's discard one bam. Maybe we could play all pong. All Pung is three fawn, by the way. We have three pair. One Bam was thrown. Nobody can take it. Let's draw. Three Crack. There is a potential Chow now, right there. One, or here, three, four, side weight. We can complete this with either a two or a five. Potential Chow, potential Chow, potential Chow. One tile bettered their hand. One, two, three, four potential chows. All we need in here is a pair. I think the number tiles are easier to pair up than these singles. Plus we could maybe draw chow tiles and give us some flexibility. So let's discard West. These could potentially bring value because it's the wind of the round for east and any dragon pung is worth a fawn. Let's draw for east. Seven dot. There's a potential chow in there now. Right there. We've got all kinds of chow potential in here. These are isolated. So one, two, three, four, five. We have everything we need. Here's our pair. West was thrown, let's throw that. And we can draw for south. Seven crack. There's another chow in there. Five, six, seven. Let's just keep that. We could do two chows right there. Break it up, two chows, potential chows two side weights, three crack or six crack, 
five crack or eight crack. These are isolated. Let's discard three BM. Drawing here. Six dot. Okay. There's a potential chow. Everything's tied in but the one dot. Let's discard that. Here they could pung, but I think that they're just as well set up for chows. So let's let's let it go and draw here. Because we still have to have a pair. Six bam. Now this is tied in. We have two isolated tiles and single honors. We still need a pair in here, but we have one, two, three, four, five potential chows. Here's a side weight, three, four, closed weight, six, eight. We need the seven in the middle. This is an edge weight. We need the seven on the edge. Closed weight, we need the two in the middle. Closed weight, six in the middle. So this is the only chow that has the greatest flexibility. So let's stick with number tiles and discard these east. We'll work with number tiles. Nobody can take it. Four crack. So now the five is no longer isolated. So we have a pair, three, four side weight, seven, nine closed weight, one, two edge weight, four, five side weight. So the side weights are better. Here's another edge weight. So the four, five and this three, four, those are better than these because these are gonna be harder to complete. Only one tile can complete these. Two tiles can complete these. Let's discard eight crack. Here we can chow. Chow. We'll discard seven bam. Seven bam, nobody can take it. Single tile. Five dot, we got a pair now. Okay, so here, whoops. Here we could pung, pung. We have one, two, three, four pair now. Okay, let's discard six dot. Nobody can take it. Seven crack. We have a pair now. I think we should try for all chow. We have a pair right there. One, two, three, four, five. Side weight, closed weight, edge weight, closed weight. We'll see what happens. Let's discard white dragon. Flower, two flower. This is player one, so we won't get score for that. Seven bam, there's a chow. Seven, eight, nine. Let's discard four bam. So there's a chow. We have two potential chows there, potential chow here. All these are potential chows, but we don't need them all. We need four and a pair. So we have one too many. This one's done. We need three more out of these four. So we'll see what happens. Four bam, nobody can take it. South, we got it. There's a pung. If you draw a pung, because we had a pair, we drew the third tile, just keep it concealed. East was thrown, so let's discard that. Six dot. Oh, we discarded that. 
white dragon. We discarded that. Oh well. Three dot. There's a pair now, another pair. We don't need two pair unless we turn this into a chow. Let's see. There's a chow. Side weight, edge weight, edge or closed weight, side weight. Let's stick with it. Three dot. Three crack, there's a chow. Okay, now white dragon is out. Let's discard that. Oops. So now we're ready to win on a green dragon because we have a chow out, here's a chow, a pung, seat wind, pung, and we're ready on a pair. One block is out, four, so that's one block, two, three, four, and a pair, four blocks and a pair. This would be one fawn because here we have our seat wind. But since we're mixing a pung with a chow in a different suit, the number tiles have no value. This is the value. Let's draw. Two crack. We paired up again. One, two, three, four, five pair. Now, anytime you have five pair, think about maybe playing seven unique pair. That is an exception to the four blocks and a pair rule. So let's see if we can do seven pair. That's four fawn. Nice hand. So let's see what's out. I don't think any of these are out. There's a chow with an eight. Let's discard eight crack. Eight crack, nobody can take it. Six dot, six dot. We do have a potential chow in here. Closed weight. That's a pair. We gotta have a pair. We have a side weight. We really don't need the one, and we really don't need that five. We have an, a closed weight here or a closed weight here. Either way, we need a two or a four in there. Let's discard the one bam. Last tile, second wall. Three crack. Wow, look at that. We have a one, two, three, or a three, four, five. So at this point, we really don't need one of these. This is a good one, because we can complete that with one of two tiles. We need an eight dot or a three crack. Here's a side weight. If we have a one, two, three, here's two side weights. Let's break this up, because here we can use the three here, and we have one of two tiles to complete that, a three or a six. So let's go ahead and discard one of these. Let's discard nine dot. And we'll draw here. Five crack. Five crack, what is the likelihood of getting a five crack as opposed to a green dragon. You have to think about waiting on an honor. You may never get it because some people may be holding it for value. This is a chicken hand table, so players can have zero points. There are no green dragons out, but it is a risky tile. Let's keep the five. This could be our pair, and we have now here a side weight where a two or a five could complete a chow. So let's discard green dragon. We had this three, four, five, but if we use that as a pair, now we have a side weight, one of two tiles as opposed to just one with the green dragon. So we're ready on a two crack or a five crack. Two crack or five crack, here we go. We want another pair in here. Oh, flower, four flower, this is player three, no value. Six bam, 
Okay, we did not get anything there. Now a seven BAM is out, so let's let's trade it out and keep the six and discard the seven. Here, let's chow. All right, now we need to discard. Side weight, closed weight, edge weight, closed weight, closed weight. None of these are out. We have one of two tiles, a two or a four will help that. Let's discard nine dot. We could maybe do six, seven, eight there, or a four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Nine dot, nine dot was thrown. Nobody can take it. Five dot, there's a chow. So we have a pair, chow, three, four, five. Let's see, there's a seven, eight, nine. We can discard here and be ready to win on a three crack or a six crack if we discard this. Seven dot. Seven dot. It's this player's turn. For this player, we could Kong. For Hong Kong Mahjong, you don't get value for a Kong. In some private settings, you might get an immediate payout of like a quarter, whatever's established by the group. So for this game, there's no value. So let's just leave it and draw. Eight crack. Green Dragon. Nine dot. That would have been a pair. We discarded it. Let's draw. North. Four dot. Red Dragon. Three dot. Side weight. Side weight. Okay, so we have a chow out. There's a pair. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So let's pick the best one out of here. There's no two or four out. There's one seven out. So let's break this up and, and discard these. Six dot. Six dot, nobody can take it. Well, we have a three, four, five, but we'll just stay concealed. Right now they're concealed, which is, I think, concealed. I don't think you get anything for concealed for Hong Kong Mahjong. I thought you did, but you don't. Maybe some, maybe some games or some rule sets might give you a point for being concealed. Six BAM, we already have a seven, eight, nine. Six BAM, we're ready to win on a three crack or a six crack. West. Three dot. Flower. No value. <gasps> Chow. Two, three, four. We're ready to win. No, not yet. We have one more yet. We need to make a chow here or here. We'll discard eight dot. Eight dot. It's this player's turn, but this player could pung. We're trying for seven pair, but they could pung and switch to all pung. None of their tiles are out yet. 
So we have to decide right now. Let's pung. Pung. So this is the player on our right. So we'll give up on pairs and go for all pung. It's just one less point or one less fawn. So now we're going to pung these pairs. Six bam was discarded. Let's throw that. Turns get skipped. It's this player's turn here. Seven crack. Okay, there's a pung right there. Or a potential chow. This is a bit redundant because we can do a three five or a five seven. Three four five five six seven one two three. There's still two p potential chows in there. Let's discard one crack. Nobody can take it. Flower. No value though. North. Three bam. We're ready on a two crack or a five crack. Four crack, we paired up. That's what we needed for a seven pair, but we committed to all pung. Nine crack. Oh, west, right here. So we're ready to pung and we have a pair. We'll just take whatever comes first. So nine crack was thrown, nobody can take it. One crack, nope, discard. We already have a one, two, three, five bam. We're good with bams. Seven, eight, nine. Whoops, six dot. Eight dot. Kong, they already have a pung out. Replacement tile, six bam. Four flower, they'll get score for that. Red dragon. Four dot, we have a chow in there already and they're ready to win right here. Four dot, eight bam. Green dragon, five bam. We already have a chow in there. There's two potential chows with a side weight. These are closed. We could switch to a chicken hand, maybe. We still have chows to make. Let's discard three crack. We still have chows to make. We have a pair. There's a chow out. Here's a chow. And we have two potential chows. But here's two side weights. We threw a one bam earlier. Let's draw. Oh, three crack. That's mahjong right here. Three, four, five. Mahjong. Pair, chow, 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 all chow, and they have flowers. They have a one flower, so these have no value, but this one does. So we'll do, let's see here. There, we'll put the ones that have no value in the back. This one has value, because that's their seat. So they have pear, chow, 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 all chow.
All chow is one fawn, and then they have a fawn for their flower. So this is two fawn, discarded by this player. Two fawn is four points. So this player pays eight, these players pay four. All chow is very flexible and relatively quick to build. They even did it concealed. So think about the point minimum at the table and build as quick as you can. If it is a chicken hand table, no holds barred. Any four blocks and a pair will win the game. In this case, they actually had value in their hand, all chow. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.